Hey, everybody, it's Lou. Welcome to the ICF Summit. It's day one. And uh, tonight we have our top seven reception. We've got the top seven all in town. So uh, we're very excited. Um, every year, of course, this is kind of like a handicapper's paradise. People ask me, who do you think is going to win? And so forth. Well, like I said they've all won because the top seven are the real winners. But uh, I have no idea. I've been actually looking at it myself uh, this year. And I'm you know, I'm looking at these cities and it's a tough job for the jury. You, we've got a bunch of repeats. You got like veterans in there. It's kind of like the Houston Astros or whatever in baseball, if you're a baseball fan in America. But you've got Curitiba, uh, Sunshine Coast, Bindong. Uh, they have been to the race a few times. So typically the edge goes to those that have been working the program uh, for years. And these three have done incredibly well. We've got a couple of rookies, too, who have promise. Uh, Hilliard, Ohio, which is part of that Intelligent Ohio movement out there. Um, very progressive. Actually, the city manager used to work in Dublin, Ohio. So she learned her trade from one of the best, Coral Gables. Uh, I would call them actually explosive. They actually have a lot going on down there. Uh, Geelong in uh, Australia, Greater Geelong. Uh, they've been working on it for a while. Uh, and then a Durham in Canada, which has just been dedicated to the whole ICF proposition. Um, I really don't know. Uh, it's it's a tough call this year. It leans toward the veterans, but the rookies have great potential. Those that have been you know, in the Smart 21 a few times uh, certainly can make a claim. So I'm excited. We'll find out tonight. I'll be at the podium uh it's kind of like a pep rally there so uh you know put your bets down now and uh we'll let you know who who gets it on uh, tomorrow night so i'm on my way take care